Yes, I'm doing me, I'm doing me. Bitch, I'm doing me, you should be yourself I gotta get this money, man, it's nothing else Never switch up on your niggas, that's bad for your health Alright, Pitchfork TV, another episode here Well, Reese, thank you for coming through What's up, man? Appreciate it mm -hmm. So, you recently just signed Def Jam? Uh-huh, signed to be out of Def Jam Okay what is the transition like going from just mixtape rapping, like doing stuff on your own to being on a label? I feel like we what we supposed to do. So who are you expecting to work with? I mean, whoever want to work with me, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Well, not whoever want to work with me, because I ain't going to work with anybody, but it's a lot of artists out there I'm going to work with. A lot of artists, you know what I'm saying? I want to work with Rocco, okay. probably Jeezy, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to work with all of them guys. I know I am. The mixtape came out on the 4th. And that was Cannon and Drama. Yeah, both of them did the tape. What's your favorite track on the mixtape? It gotta be bad. But why is that your favorite track? Because it go hard, you know what I'm mean? saying? From the beginning to the end. Bitch, I won't stress myself. And bitch, I keep my mouth closed. Production-wise, you work with Chop on a lot of stuff, obviously. Yeah, right? I work with Chop a lot. A couple of producers, like two producers. Superhero, his name is Superhero. I work with him, he a decent producer. Real decent. What's the difference between Chop? Chop and him? him? Yeah. They nowhere near the same. Chop putting a whole nother sound, and he got a whole nother sound. I like switching up my flow, you know? Mm -hmm. That's about it. How did you link up with Freddie? With Freddie Gibbs? Yeah. OVA. OVA, ain't no play. Out in LA, we was in the studio. Him and Chop was working. They called me over like, man, come, you know, come do this track. Oh, get on the track when, you know, we made it happen. It worked. The music that got you into rap. How do you differentiate yourself from that? Man, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we've been doing it for a minute, a long time. You know what I'm saying? For a long, long time. Long time. 300 years, I mean. 300 years. I heard. I heard. I heard. I heard. <laughs> 300 years. <laughs> we've been doing it for 300 years, man. You know, that's about it. So it just developed that way. I'm gonna tell you how it developed though, for real, for real. Like, okay. you know what I'm saying? It developed us being in the streets, you know what I'm saying? What we seeing, what we was doing, it all came back to the music. Yeah. So we have two different beats for you. One is by DJ Rufio, and the other is by Russ. All right. So Let we'll have you check two of them out and then see right. if you want. So I'm gonna go to the next one. Let me go to the next one. The next beat. I mean, now go back to the first one. First one? Yeah, the first one. Okay. So why would this one work better for you than the other one? Because the other one, it sound, it sound, it's just too much, you know what I'm saying? Okay. But this beat mellow, you know what I'm saying? I can catch a flow to this beat. And that other beat ain't sound too right. I'm rocking with this one. Okay. Alright. All right. Let's go. 300. We see money over here, them Lamar killers in the rear. And if that boy be talking slick, go grab that 40, not that bear. Ask your bitch, you know we ballin'. 300, boy, this a year. Ask your bitch, you know we ballin'. 300, boy, this a year. Have a youngin' run up in your place and do whatever that. Trust not, fear not, real nigga shit salute. GBE man, that's my troops. GBE man, on my troops. 300 man, that's my crew. 300 man, I salute. All of a sudden, everybody rappers like the shit cool. I schooled a lot of niggas, I'm a teacher, took they ass to school. Took they ass to school. Ah, 300.